and the winner is. Let me unseal this. <laughs> Welcome to the 2018 Tankies. We are your hosts, Brandon Lorick and Keith Millinder. Welcome. It's it's wonderful to be here on this lovely evening uh, in January, Brandon. How, how does it feel to have come this far as an entertainer, as an actor, and as a producer? Well, Keith, when I first got the phone call from myself uh, asking <laughs> if I wanted to come here, I just thought, man, to host uh, the Tankies uh, not only is an award show, but right. it is an episode of Tank Talks. And yes. I was like, Brandon Lorick, you can go ahead and mark down that Brandon Lorick will be hosting these tankies. Inter- interestingly enough, I had almost the exact same conversation with myself. Really? When I called myself and asked myself if I was free. I just, I, the, the, first, the first thing I thought of is, I gotta dress up. You right. need to dress up, you gotta take your glasses off. Yeah, so first of all, Brandon has truly dressed up. He can see nothing. Mm-hmm. He's going to be reading some awards off some envelopes later, and we'll see how that goes. But we decided we'd dress up a little bit for this one. We don't have tuxedos on because we don't own tuxedos. We're not going to we're not going to play at that game. Uh, we don't want to rent tuxedos for our internet show. We don't want to. And apparently, a collared NASCAR shirt does not count as. So Keith and I, right? We both agreed. And we thought well, it's not going to be black tie, and it's not going to be black NASCAR crew shirt. Right. It's, it's going to be easy. nice. Close. Yeah, somewhere in between. <laughs> this is the tie I got married in, actually. Really? So, congratulations to this tie for making it not only to my wedding day, but even farther up into the highest echelon of entertainment. I thought you were about glory. to say congratulations to Keith Blender on his wedding. <laughs> congratulations. I like that we're playing this as if we're announcers, but we're also in the audience. I think that's. I like to think to that it. if someone knows us, they're laughing right now. Right. And if they don't know us, they're thinking. Wow, like this is a big deal that they're yeah. here. Yeah, I've got to go back and watch all the other all the other videos that led up to this moment. Two years of YouTube videos we've been doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and we've decided because of that we're going to award ourselves a little bit. Not just ourselves. We've had a lot of people who've made these videos with mm-hmm. us. Um, we've been we're the driving force behind uh, Tank Media Network. We're your your El Presidentes, your chieftains, your your big Kahunas. Uh, mm-hmm. But we have a lot of people who seem who have seen fit to help us out and to act and to do stuff, and we're very thankful for them. Uh, so we have made up some awards. Would you like to explain how this is going to work? Well, Keith, how this is going to work is we're going to use our table teleprompter right here. Yep. I'm gonna, we're going to read off the nominees, yep. and then we're going to reveal to you who won. Okay. So, Keith, why don't you get us started? All right. In, within slash on the back of this envelope, I have the nomin- or the winner of the Tanky Award for Best Video. Uh, the nominees were Bad Girl Scout, Beard vs. No Beard, Campus News 6, and Girls Your Son Brings Home. Um, it was a surprise victory for me as well. Um, but it well, was... Keith, you haven't read the winner yet, so how do you know it's a surprise You're victory? You're right. I apologize. <laughs> You're These right. These are sealed up. <laughs> And the, the winners were written down by Canadian men. Right. From out Quebec. Excuse me. I need to comment on the the winner uh, after I read it. It was a surprise to me that Keith knew it. <laughs> uh, so the winner of this this tanky for the best video of the year goes to Bad Girl Scout. Now, is so, that a surprise to you, Keith? <laughs> that is a surprise to me. Not because I thought it was one of our bad videos, but because... Um, it didn't strike me as one that people really freaked out about when it came out. So I'm glad that after so many votes came in. How many did you say I believe it was? I stopped counting at quadrillion. Yes, I believe that was as high as I could count as well. Um, but in that video, the cast were Brandon, Lorick, uh, Jordan Rudd, Ariel Ruff, Ru- and Robert Banks. What was funny about that one, I feel like since we're accepting the award on behalf of everyone, right, we can talk on that. That's behalf. another thing. We're accepting the award on behalf of everyone on the show. Uh, there, some will, like we said, will receive one of these awards, and they'll also receive a certificate. So for that video, it was one that we just filmed on like the spur of the moment, right. and it was one that didn't get like a crazy amount of views, but at the same time, a lot of people came up and said that they really enjoyed that video. Hmm. So I certainly enjoyed watching Jordan Jordan be kind of like a a gangsta mm-hmm. uh, Girl Scout. So now the next one we have is Best Throwback. Now these are videos that were released in 2016. Yeah, I really um, think nominees... anything earlier than 2017. 
and the nominees for this one was Hello from the Drive Thru, God's Not Dead 3 Trailer, The First Kiss, The Pumpkin Spice Effect. And the winner is, let me unseal this, <laughs> God's Not Dead 3 Trailer, uh, starring Brendan Lorick, Thomas Keating, Rigel Coker, Jonathan Searcy, Keith Melinder, Ariel Ruff, and Jordan Rudd. One of our largest casts in the video, mm -hmm. honestly. Are you alarmed at how Mia is licking that that electrical cord? Uh, that was what, what I was wondering <laughs> why I was doing or reading that. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have you you see our very professional theatric dark lighting where we actually have a light shining at us. It's plugged into the wall, and my dog is chewing on the cord. So if everything goes dark here in a second, then it comes back with me sobbing and holding a dead animal. You'll know why. Uh, so I guess uh, if we're going to continue the tradition. Um, I guess for God's Not Dead three, uh, I was pretty happy that it uh, that it won. It's one of one of our most successful ones. Oh, it's by by a landslide our most successful video on YouTube. And I think it's 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 pretty surprising too because when it first came out, I was hoping maybe maybe a couple hundred people will enjoy right. this. But uh, I believe the last time I checked, it was at sixty eight thousand views. Yeah, we so. were very happy about that video. Go watch uh, that video a hundred times. Yeah, we were very happy about that. It took almost probably four or five months before it got any traction mm -hmm. and then somebody something happened and it started getting tons of or tons lots of views for us we're very excited a lot of people think that we are satanists mm -hmm. uh, because of that video but we're not we're just having a little fun um the next award will be for the best hair uh that race was definitely we thought it was going to be a close race mm -hmm. so we'll see how it ended up mm -hmm. <laughs> before i reveal that i know the thing again so the winner of the best hair award is as you may think, Josh Kerr. Uh, he it's it's one of those things. Please speak where, about his hair. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those No, it's one of those things where there's this build up in my mind, even though I know there's no one here <laughs> except the dog, and and we have one audience, one audience member in Zenus, and then one uh, one audience member behind us, uh, my wife, who's doing her law school homework. <laughs> um, but every time I get excited about the winner and I reveal it, I expect applause. But when there's silence, I get upset. So yeah, Josh has great hair. Uh, when it's short or when it's long, I like Josh's hair. Um, the nominees for that video, excuse me, were Rigel, Coker, Lakia Hodges, Josh Kerr, and Ariel Ruff. All of them have wonderful hair. Uh, Josh, Josh has just edged him out. And by edged him out, I mean it was an absolute I heard landslide. from multiple uh, nominees from that category that they voted for Josh. Because yeah. they thought, <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I can't you do can't. anything. I would hold up Josh's individual tanky award, but it's currently baking in the oven. <laughs> Now our next uh, category was Best Duo, and the nominees were Jordan Page, Stephen Cobra, Chaz and Lauren, and Bobby and Big Mike. Mm. And, All perfect nominees. And the winners are Jordan Rudd and Paige Cole. Good job, Jordan and Paige. You did it. Now that one is, I think it's another one. It's something where didn't really expect it to be big, but I've heard a lot of people come up and say that they, they really enjoyed... Uh, them working together exactly and people who like know them they just they love Jordan and Paige right so. exactly I, I again if you would have asked me to come up with duos that we've had I wouldn't have even thought of that because it mm -hmm. was such a short blip in one of our videos but I'm very glad that they actually had to come from behind victory mm -hmm. and pulled it out um, so our next video award tanky mm -hmm. is for the best series of 2017 um, nominee for that uh, I guess what counts as a series is any video that had more than one part, as the word series would I apply. believe each one of these have at least three, because, uh, yeah, Revealing Friends Ideas, I believe, has two or three right, right. now. So. At least two, definitely, almost three, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so, the nominees were Revealing Friends Ideas, uh, Campus News, Steel and Cobra, and Bobby's Emporium. All of those wonderful series, in my opinion, but also my opinion is that everything you make is kind of good. <laughs> Um, we hope other people will feel that way. And the winner is <laughs> Campus News. Again. <laughs> it's kind of weird every time I try to... Um, maybe I'll put in applause. She is still chewing yeah, that Yeah, she's a definitely chewing the, chewing the... I think she's just licking it. I saw chewing. Um, re either way, Campus News, uh, your stars of that program are Brandon Lorick, Jordan Rudd, Ariel Ruff, Josh Kerr, and Keith Mullender. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I love the Campus News series. It's my favorite one to go back and watch all th- all the way through. Mm-hmm. I think we've definitely made some attempts at series. Not all of them have been out of the park home runs, but Campus News I think is is definitely deserving of this award. Um, that we will give to it. That I agree with that. <laughs> um, now the next category was best tank talk, and the nominees were getting shot with a candy corn slingshot, adoption versus DNA. Potato Boy and Sticky Boy, and Falls Back. Before you read that, I would like to express that I'm excited about this award because I cannot lose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 we had an overwhelming volume of write-in votes that said, the one that doesn't have Keith in it. <laughs> and that doesn't, doesn't even exist. We'll see if that, <laughs> that won. Uh, getting shot with the candy corn slingshot. <laughs> we did it. Now, I, I think, um, like, as a whole, I really enjoy uh, the Tank Talks. I agree. Uh, for Keith and I, when we used to have our podcast, uh, it was really fun. We got to just uh, be ourselves and just chat about anything. Right. Uh, and that was one thing we kind of missed when we kind of put the podcast on hiatus. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with these ones, it's pretty cool because you just have a shorter format. Right. And you still get to talk about anything. So I really enjoyed that as a whole. Uh, that one, I enjoyed it because I believe that was the first one where we went into the lab or as Keith <laughs> yeah. says well yeah i like to call it uh, going into the lab but it's it was our first field assignment it mm-hmm. was our first <laughs> our first experiment that took us away from the the round table um but i agree the tank talk definitely fills the podcast void and we will bring the podcast back one day mm-hmm. so next up this one will be a quickie uh we have another channel called tank media games where i play video games uh and i upload really 40 minutes of content every weekday uh so if you're bored and you like video games go over there and watch that um and the award is for the base series on that channel <laughs> i don't know why i wanted that accent but anyway the nominees for that one were uh choice of rebels uprising the long dark winter mute dishonored and spin tires mud runner uh those are all games that i played and the winner of this award is Choice of Rebels Uprising. That was another one that's kind of strange to me. I honestly didn't, still don't know how much crossover we have between channels. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many of our subscribers go over to Tank Media Games and watch, because there's not a whole lot of people watching over there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know how many people go from that channel over to our main channel. Um, but this kind of gives me evidence that there's some there's some sort of crossover there, mm-hmm. because there's really no other reason you would know about that game, because it's really just a novel mm-hmm. that I read through and made decisions for. <laughs> Um, that's not a random find on YouTube, mm-hmm. but that's the award, uh, and that uh, game can get another uh, good, good, good review from me. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, now the next cate- category we had was celebrity you'd like to see on Tank Media Network, mm-hmm. and the nominees were Matt De Benedetto, Rhett and Link, Tim Skipper, and we had a uh, other section which can, which received uh, a lot. Of votes, right? Of um, but even with the write-in votes, the winner was Rhett and Link. Our boys, we we know them personally. We spend a lot of time with them. Uh, that none of that is true, but I'm glad they won it. You keep if you like to say something about Rhett and Link for a second. No, and accept on their behalf. I'll accept on Rhett and Link's behalf. I really enjoy. I, again, I said it in the, the nomin or I said it in the Person of the Year one. I just didn't. I just like them. They're mm-hmm. nice, wholesome dudes. I think they deserve our support. Um, I am a fan of theirs. I watch their videos on a daily basis. And I just, I think we are very similar to them in a lot of ways. Where we're from, how we look at the world, the type of content we produce. Not to say mm-hmm. that we do anything on their level. But I think the general theme of it is very similar. So I'm glad they won this one. And I would kill a man. No, I would not. <laughs> I would be very pleased if they even responded to the letter we'll send them with this uh with this tanky award. It would have been really cool if we could have gotten just Samuel L. Jackson to write in and say, I'll accept it on their behalf and then walk off. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Because um, we had a lot of votes for Samuel L. Jackson based on the mm. nominees video that we did. And so, I believe we may revisit that in a future episode oh, of Tank we Media. certainly will. Um, but Rhett talk, and Link... Tank Media Talk. Yeah, tank Talk to New Media. <laughs> Rhett and Link, if you see this, we'd love to... You know, if you... if. We don't exactly have the equipment or the, the <laughs> space needed for you guys to come on our show, uh, but we would absolutely, we, we'll fly ourselves out to L.A. and we'll come. We'll meet, we'll in, come on, meet a, on a neutral field. So somewhere <laughs> in Kansas, we'll find us a nice just right. YMCA with That'll some work. radio equipment from the 1950s. That will, that's definitely some middle ground. Um, but again, 
whatever you guys want to do, you just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then I have the last one. I talked a lot on the last mm-hmm. one. Okay, so the final category was your favorite actor besides that your favorite tank media actor besides the two of us because obviously we've got to be your favorites. <laughs> um, act the uh, nominees were for, there were no any, nominees. Any living person yeah. <laughs> besides Keith and yeah, Brandon. Any any living beings and actually based on some of the nominees. Uh, non-living person because mm-hmm. one or no some of the, one of the celebrities was Frosty the Snowman yeah and also Harambe <laughs> made a, an attempt so um, the winner of the best actor for Taint Media was indeed Josh Kerr mm-hmm. uh, he won it fair and square people like Josh Kerr mm-hmm. that's what we learned maybe I need to quit maybe it just needs to be uh, Brandon and Josh That'll be the next uh, Take Media vote, is you get to vote. Who... <laughs> <laughs> the, it's either vote if you want to keep Keith, or just vote for his replacement. <laughs> it's already decided that he's leaving. That's not true. I, I really enjoyed uh, Josh winning that, though, because yeah. um, I think a lot of the votes, I was happy that different people got one. Yeah. And I think for someone like Josh, it's someone that I've gotten to have, uh, I've gotten to take classes with him. So I've seen him uh, like in class. I've seen him outside of class. Uh, act on stuff that's like uh, productions and all at CSU. Sure. And I've gotten to see him act in our videos. And he's just someone that he's always a, a joy to work with. A you joy. can give him a serious character. You can give him a weirdo. You can give him anything. He's going to make the most of it and do it uh, with a smile on his face. Yep. Now he might sh- might show up twenty minutes late. That's true. But, but when he shows up... Whenever the two of you are doing anything, you just that just kind of comes I just know that if I praised Josh too much, he was going to get upset. So I right. had to... Josh, you suck a little. Yeah, But you're great a lot. You're right. And that, 97%. <laughs> and that is how we feel. I really enjoyed this. Mm-hmm. I look forward to next year's Tanky Awards. I feel like a lot of it may feel like we're tooting our own horns. We have no reason to toot our own horns. Mm-hmm. We have a very low number of subscribers. We have a low number of views on our videos. But we enjoy making these... And we enjoy uh, giving people credit for helping us out. Now, uh, as Keith said earlier, uh, each each individual winner will receive a certificate, right. uh, saying that what they won the Tinky for. Yeah. Um, and then they, for the people who won multiple awards, they will receive one of these little Tinky statues. Yes, which we have wrote, we have written Tinky on the back of the statue. You probably can't see it because it won't focus on that. We have written Tanky on the back. We have written the recipient's name on the front and we have signed our first name on either side of the haunches of this little bulldog. To explain, Tank is um, my bulldog that I kind of grew up with. His name is is Tank and a lot of our friendship is founded on uh, making jokes about Tank and giving him a voice and making a character out of him. So we named our channel after him. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're bulldogs because he's a bulldog. Other than that, I think that will wrap up this year's Tanky Awards. Mm-hmm. We hope that you will stick around until next year when we nominate more Tankies. Maybe you'll even be nominated for one next year. We'll be a see. good actor. You got anything else, Brandon? Bark, bark. All right. That's the best way I can think of to end this video. We hope that you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the Tankies. We'll see you next year, and we'll see you next week for more Tank Media Network content. Uh, my name's Keith. And I'm Brandon. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Mia, you, you were chewing on the chair. Chewing on. (laughs)